Oh, okay. Actually, it makes sense. Interesting. In, in France, millefeuille is really a... But yeah, I understand why it could be millefeuille. Bonjour, my name is Aurélie. I'm a French teacher here in Sogyong Bay University. I have that kind of question really often. Like, how can I improve my French? How can I speak French without an accent or like French? My advice would be to not be afraid to speak French. If you have an accent, don't be afraid to have your accent as long as people understand you. And also, uh, of course, to listen French, read French every day, put some French language in your daily life. Why not change your phone in French or uh, listen to YouTube video in French? And it's not difficult and it's funny. You will improve without facing difficulties. Okay, so what we are going to do today I'm gonna listen some French words in the Korean accent and I will try to guess what it is and see what it means in French language. Louis Vuitton. Well, Louis Vuitton. It's not really different, I can understand. Hermès. 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 Mm. Pas, it's not really different also. Chanel. Mm. Same. <laughs> Givenchy. Givenchy. This one is actually really different. Givenchy. Givenchy. Mm. Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah, I can hear there is a difference between uh, the B and the V. Yves Saint Laurent. Dior. Dior, you have to open your mouth, actually. Dior, it's like there is a, a ball coming to you and like, Dior, wow. Comte <laughs> Carisson. Oh, <laughs> ah, comme des garçons, comme des garçons. Actually, for this one also, I think the R is different. We actually can consider that the R it's more like a hit, so you can actually do comme des garçons. Tous les jours. Tous les jours. I can see this bakery really often, which means every day, so maybe you can go there every day. Denim. Denim. Denim actually comes from French and France because a long time ago we were used to do this kind of fabric in Nîmes in France, in the south of France. Mille pay you. Oh, that is really different. Mille feuilles. Mille feuilles. Which means actually mille. Mille is a thousand. And feuille, it's like a paper or leaves. Oh, okay. Actually, it makes sense because this soup, there is a lot of layers. So maybe there is also a thousand layer. Interesting. But yeah, in France, millefeuille is really a pâtisserie, so it's sweet. But yeah, I understand why it could be millefeuille, because there is really this kind of layer. To finish, I could say welcome in the French uh, language world. If you study French in the French department in Sogumde University, you actually have the possibility to discover about French language, but also French language in business. So you can develop what is your passion about. So if you like literature, you can learn more about that. Or if you want to work in France or in a country where we speak French, it's a new world. So welcome. And I will be happy to see you soon in my class. Au revoir.